I'm here in Southampton for the day. Uh, I'm not here for the most fun reason, but decided to make the most of it. So here goes. Hopefully you'll never have to visit this place, Southampton Hospital. But I decided to include the footage because it felt bizarrely like an airport, right? Like, like what, what hospital has this? The rest of the hospital is ancient and scary and confusing and just seems very, very outdated. But this part, it's just like going to an airport. I don't understand it, but that's enough hospital stuff. Onto my substandard but very, very cheap hotel, the Ibis Budget. Budget by name, budget by nature. Seeing that it's located behind a McDonald's, you know it's going to be very, very classy. It's fine, but it's in a good location. Um, <laughs> it's cheap, whatever. Uh, it's opposite a retail park with lots and lots of outdated businesses that I'm surprised are still alive. And some that aren't, like Wilco. But also, look at this! Toys R Us! Remember them? R.I.P. Jeffrey, you giraffe. Take note of this imposing IKEA because it's fairly inescapable. Here is the West Quay, which as a teenager was the only real reason to come to Southampton with my mate Joel. And there's that evil building again, always watching. Now, there is a Premier Inn basically attached to the West Quay, which I would have liked to have stayed in, but unfortunately, no rooms available. So, on the ground floor entrance, there's this little arcade. Which is pretty nice. I, I like it. Oh my god! A Hungry Hungry Hippos arcade game? Wow. Respect. One floor up, you have this little eatery area. Absolutely hilarious fun! And I have never played cricket before! A wee bit further on, there's zebra horse thing. And a big Sara, the dinosaur. It's a dinosaur bones, you know, whatever. Um, there's a really nice cinema upstairs, the Showcase, which was always the nicest one in Southampton. You have to go up a myriad of escalators to get to it. I went up them and then got told that if I didn't have a ticket I had to go, so I'm back outside. As you can see, the weather isn't ideal, which is a huge surprise for England, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to have to go inside unfortunately and the weather's better tomorrow so i'll be outside a little bit more then but if you've never seen a shopping center you're going to have the most fun 30 seconds of your life now as i've said to all of my girlfriends of course it's fairly nice in here uh, i'm really surprised that it's not full of shut down shops it appears that brexit the cost of living crisis everything doesn't appear to have made much difference in Southampton, whereas pretty much every other English town seems borderline decimated, on the south coast at least, so that was a nice treat, but I was hungry, so time to stuff my face. Fun fact, if you eat at Pizza Express, you will never sweat. You get the idea, it is a very nice shopping centre, but it's exactly what you'd expect. Um, I enjoyed coming here with my mate Joel and periodically once or twice here with my various girlfriends. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Nothing else to say. This Apple store on the left though. That's where I bought my iPhone 4 on launch day and queued up for my iPhone 6 Plus back when people cared about phones. The weather was still pretty poor, so I decided to check out a smaller shopping centre, a little bit up. This one's called the Marlins, and I even remember this as being disappointingly quiet. Now, it's a nice one. I remember it as being very cute inside, but there just weren't any people in here. Yeah, you can see, look, it's pretty, but the shops are kind of poor, and I think the West Key must have destroyed it. Back out here, over the road, now... I used to be a store manager at Game Station in Salisbury and my old boss moved to run this store here. So we used to come here for our managers meetings and I used to cover here every now and then. Um, so the store was just one of these little shops here, it was really really nice. Uh, happy memories of that place. 
walking down here, I got accosted by ITV with cameras who wanted to interview me from Meridian tonight, uh, telling me that Rishi Sunak had brought forward the next election. I was unaware of this as I was wandering around the shopping centre and eating, so I was too high to be featured, I think, and I slagged off the Tories too much. Now look at this. An American walked past, the first person I've ever seen wearing a MAGA hat, and he was a minority. Talk about self-hatred, man. Due to its location along the coast, you'll see there are a lot of old castle remains in Southampton. Um, this one here, these dogs with somewhat prominent erections. It's quite typical England. It's nice to have history in among the more modern town centre features that you'd expect. On the left here, there was actually another shopping centre back in the day that I remember used to come to. It used to have a Sega World. Um, looks like it's completely gone, which is a shame. That kind of thing isn't sustainable. A, a town doesn't need three shopping centres. When you're in older cities and towns, always look up. The tops of the buildings are usually gorgeous. Now, this castle wall, you could normally climb up and meet this dude. I climbed up and it said, no entrance, shut off. So I didn't get to meet him and that was great fun. Loved that. Just the other side of the West Quay. I've been all the way around it now. The weather's starting to improve slightly, although it is getting late and I'm feeling very tired. But I did quite enjoy these somewhat rude looking water features. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I don't like you though, seagull. Hate seagulls. Wouldn't it be a shame if Mr. S. Gull was just chilling on the ground when these began to spurt? <laughs> Southampton has a pretty decent airport, just one train stop away as well, which is why you regularly see and hear things like this. Which I like. As the weather improved, I've decided to move away from the town centre, walked past this lovely hotel which I believe is called the Leonardo Royal. I really wanted to stay here, but the cost was something silly like six times the amount of where I was. But it's a gorgeous building, very unique. Across the road from here is Mayflower Park, which i would never been to before, despite having visited Southampton dozens of times in my life. Uh, very peaceful, very relaxing, and as you've seen, incredibly close to the town centre. If you visit Southampton, I would definitely recommend chilling out here for a while. It's even got a weird little restaurant. I don't know what they sell. Might be crap, who knows. But I liked it anyway. Plane! There's another plane! Plane! I think we're near an airport. There's a plane! Yet another plane! Do you like planes? I like planes! Plane. You'll have to excuse the wind. It's uh, a very open area. And I'd had beans. This is so relaxing to chill out here and look out. And if you look down there, there's an ice cream van. Obviously, I had to indulge myself, which was very, very tasty 99 flake, I might add. I was feeling very exhausted and tired now, so on my walk back to my hotel, I passed Leisure World used to be a wonderful cinema and a few arcade bits and eateries in there. It's a shame that it's shut down now. Possibly due to this evil Ikea. Always watching. Always present. Back at the hotel for some painkillers and a nice long sleep. And I woke up to this weird noise. Yes, it was coming from Ikea and yes, you could hear it from my hotel. Creepy. On the walk back into town, I saw this big ship, looked it up and saw that it was launching this afternoon, so I thought I'd go and check that out. And here we are in a fairly nice area of town. Looks really cool. Quite London-y, I thought, despite the weird road names. No comment. Heading towards the more artsy side of town. Here's the museum, town hall type place. Gorgeous building. A lot more nature around here. Uh, I like these designs. Like I said, it's the arty, hipster side of town. Quite a relaxing walk. Very, very nice to get away from the more built up areas. This graffiti was quite cool as well. Brought back happy Jet Set Radio memories, for sure. 
Here's where BBC South Today and Radio Solent broadcast from. Pretty significant location. And here is the Mayflower Theatre, which is gorgeous, very well known, and I've seen a few things there. Love it. There are a lot of museums in Southampton, uh, all with different focuses, but I found this one to be very, very pretty. Free entry. And as you can see, it had some really cool looking displays inside. Just probably spent an hour in here, just wandering around. Really, really nice. Um, I didn't want to be that dickhead who stands there filming everything, so I just took a few shots. But I strongly recommend it. It's a cool visit. And yeah, free. Although I did use our toilets and they were rubbish and disgusting. I thought they might be good. But that's probably not the most important part of a museum. Unless you're me. That was really enjoyable to see. And the area outside is very nice as well. It's got some great statues, a few art exhibits, a few designs which maybe weren't as good as they could be. For example, this. Probably not the most beautiful thing I've seen in my life. At this point, I wasn't feeling great and needed a cool drink and a snack. So here we are. A little bit further out of town, past a fairly run down area. You can probably tell. If you can't tell where we're going by now, maybe maybe you need to uh, knock yourself on the head a bit. Obviously, we're at Southampton Football Stadium, St Mary's. Uh, I'm not really a football person. I spot the cherries, but that's just because I live in Bournemouth. I don't actually follow football at all. My friend Mike is huge into the Saints, the Reds, whatever they're called. Uh, I thought this was a fairly nice-looking stadium, but the surrounding areas were rubbish. And I'm not even just saying that. Literally. Look at that. Rubbish. It, it was not surrounded by the best views. But, you know, kind of iconic. Starting to feel unwell now. Damn you, cancer. So, a little bit of a wander around this side of town where I hadn't been. And then I thought I'd go see this boat launch before making my way home. So, here we are. Here is that ship we saw earlier. It's the Celebrity Apex. It is huge, by no means the hugest in the area, but it was really cool to see it launch and zoom off. I say zoom. <laughs> it's not, not the fastest until they get out into the ocean. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, it was a cool thing to see. It was a really cool thing to see. If I was a day later, I would have seen the brand new Queen Anne, which literally, for the first time, sailed at the start of this month from Southampton. Hopefully that goes well. Nothing that sails from Southampton has ever gone wrong, so don't need to worry about it. I had a great time in Southampton overall. Um, brought back some memories. There's a lot of stuff I hadn't seen. I could have easily spent a few more days here. Um, there were many many areas that I didn't even get close to but overall it's a compact city I really really like how you can just walk wherever you want there's no need for cars that's the biggest selling point of pretty much any city to be fair and Southampton does that very well so thanks for watching peace you know goodbye all that stuff Parkston, Hall, Hamworthy, Otterby, Morton, Dorchester South, Upway and Weymouth. The next station is Totten. Please mind the gap.